Okay, don't be embarrassing me now because I just said you could blend out and now you don't want to blend out. Act right. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing kind of my updated foundation routine, my current foundation routine, and some tips and tricks to achieve my desired foundation look, my everyday foundation look, and in addition, my current favorite products. So if you want to see how to get, not this look, but the next look, then just stay tuned. So when starting your foundation routine, you always want to prep your skin. So I've already washed my face, I've done my serums, I've done my um, moisturizer off camera, and all of that. So you need to do your desired skincare routine and do that before your foundation, before you start prepping and priming, okay? So lately, because of, shake it up. Lately, because it is getting warmer and sun is just beaming, I know I should be a lot better with this, but I've been going in with this Neutrogena um, Sensitive Skin Face Liquid. What the hell? <laughs> Neutrogena Sensitive Skin Face Liquid Sunscreen with SPF 50. So it's very important, especially for girls like me with hyperpigmentation, blemishes, to protect our skin because if I'm out in the sun and I'm trying to get rid of you know my hyperpigmentation it's just gonna make it darker I'm just gonna be basically toasting so this is gonna kind of protect it and the fact that it's SPF 50 and it's for your face is just a plus and also I know a lot of people are gonna ask especially my brown girls this is flashback proof so I have wore this during the day that I went out that night, took pictures, and my face, I had no flashback. You know, my face was matching my neck. So, make sure you're protecting your face if your um, moisturizer or your, what is it, moisturizer, primer, or foundation doesn't have SPF. Make sure to just grab something and just do a little bit just to ensure that you're protecting your skin. And this one comes out kind of like drops. Can you see that? And I just... Put that on you don't have to use a sunscreen with so much SPF but I just feel like better safe than sorry I mean if you're using 15 20 25 40 45 just make sure you're using something all right and it looks white right now but I promise you there is no flashback and you, it does not affect your makeup once I've let that sit I go in with my milk hydro grip primer I've been loving this primer so much because it's hydrating and it actually helps my makeup last normally more hydrating illuminating kind of products will make my makeup slide around after a while but this one really just keeps everything in place and I have just been living okay and these products may not work for you but again this is my foundation routine and you really have to know your skin type and what you like and what kind of look you're looking for. Like, do you have dry skin? Do you have oily skin? Do you have normal skin? Do you want a full coverage look or do you want a light look? Do you want a dewy look or do you want a matte look? These are things you have to know before purchasing makeup. So a lot of people get frustrated when they're watching tutorials like this and they're like, this isn't working for me, but honestly, it's because you don't know your skin. Like I can watch somebody's videos, some of my favorite YouTubers, and I'm like, that's not gonna work for me, but it looks bomb on her. So I'm gonna just let her have it. Cause I already know my skin type. I already know what kind of coverage I like and finish and all of that. So take that into consideration when you are, you know, shopping for makeup if you're here and you're a beginner. So after you've let that kind of just soak into the skin and do its thing, and I'm going in with the Morphe Fl Fluidy Foundation, yeah, Fluidy Full Coverage Foundation, and you know all products will be listed below along with shades, all of that. Okay, and I really, really like this foundation. Like I have been sleep. Okay, I have been. I used it that one time and just was like, bloop, toss to the side. But like this is my jam for real, for real. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on the back of my hand and a little bit of this goes a long way you guys this foundation is matte but that's a really good thing I know a lot of people like a dewy kind of look but honestly when you're doing 
when you want a long lasting look you need to just kind of finesse it and create the illusion of dewy skin whether it be with highlighters um setting sprays or something like that you don't really i mean it's your preference of course but for me personally i've learned that you get a longer lasting application when you use more mattifying um what was i gonna say more mattifying products okay on your base so just take that into consideration as well so i'm going in with my morphe m439 brush and i'm just going to start and do one side of my face at a time and as you guys notice i do not color correct anymore not that my skin's any better but i just feel like it's just not necessary and the way i apply my foundation now is just a lot better so I'm just doing patting motions as you can see and I didn't even coat the whole brush with foundation and already it's like covering everything and you always want to bring it down a little bit. You don't want to stop at that lot at your jaw like that because you're going to have that masky look. So you just kind of want to bring it down and fade that product, like diffuse it a little bit towards your neck. So I am just... Padding, padding, padding. And do you guys see that? Like that coverage is amazing. Like it's giving me the coverage of my hourglass foundation, which you guys know I love. But unfortunately, my hourglass foundation just doesn't last as long as I would like it to. It's a beautiful foundation, beautiful finish, but it just doesn't last how I want it to. So this one just does what I need it to do and it dries down like this is it for a while, honey. And the less product you use on your forehead, the better, because you won't have that masky look on your edges. Because I know we don't really like touching our edges like that. As you can see, I have a very like a natural hairstyle right now, so I don't really care. But when my edges are um, popping, I don't want to touch them. So <laughs> just kind of use a little bit of product and build up. And as you guys can see, do you see this coverage? Like, it's crazy. It is crazy. So this is this side of my face with no foundation, and then this is the side with the foundation. And as you can see, because of how I prep my skin, you can still see a little bit of luminosity. It's not completely matte, so I ain't mad at it. Go ahead, grab the Morphe foundation. It's a bomb, okay? And my next step is going in with my sponge. I use the um, Sony Kashuk sponge. You can get it from Target, super cheap. And I love this. I actually like this better than my Real Techniques. And I like it better than my um, Beauty Blender. So go ahead and grab this. I just like to go over my foundation just to make sure that everything is blended out and smooth. Nothing is cakey. As you can see, it's just been blended into my skin. Like, I love this foundation and to be honest with you guys it may be super full coverage and seem heavy but it's not heavy at all like I don't feel anything one thing I'm gonna tell you guys right now is no matter how much you see me beat my face y'all be like oh my god that's so much concealer that's so much powder that's so much this I don't like the feeling of anything on my face so everything that I put on my face is lightweight or very light as close as possible so I don't like the feeling of foundation I don't like the feeling of none of that Okay, so just trust your girl, trust me, okay? So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side. You don't see anything, you guys. Like, you don't see any of my spots. Nothing, nothing. Bloop. Now I'm going to be going in with my favorite concealer at the moment. This is the Milani Conceal in Perfect. It is just so amazing, okay? It's not a super drying um, concealer. I want to say it's kind of hydrating in a sense or very creamy. So it balances out so I don't have too much dryness on my face as far as like a matte foundation and 
a matte concealer and then adding powder it's just perfect and it's full coverage and when I use this I honestly don't have to do my um, double up on my concealers like I normally do it just it's just everything. Oh well, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and let that sit for a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. And as I'm blending it out, I always start from the middle and blend it out and then I blend my under eye out because I just want my under eye to have more coverage so that's allowing it a little bit more time to get tacky. And if you ever feel like you go overboard with your concealer, just take your foundation brush and kind of, without any extra product, and just kind of go over it, just so that you don't have that like demarcation. I don't think I have any, but you know, it's just a habit. You just gotta be sure out any screets. I really don't know where my camera cut off. <laughs> I don't know why it does that to me. But I was just blending out my concealer and my under eye. So now I'm going to be going in with my Wet n Wild Banana Powder. And I'm just going to set my face. And let me tell you, I think this powder is the reason why, like, I've never had to touch up. But when I tell you my face be sitting all day, when I say sitting, I mean sitting, okay? So I'm just going to take that, dip my sponge in there. And you just kind of want to make sure you get off any extra. And then I'm just going to press it under my skin. I mean, under my skin. Under my eye. And I'm going to not bake with this because I've realized I love this powder. But it's so mattifying that baking too long with this can definitely give you like a um, too mattifying of a look. I don't know. It just depends on the day. But recently I've just been pressing it in. And I really like the finish of it because I don't know why I started baking again. Because pressing in your powder is that girl. She's really that girl. You said that. You want to set everything else, of course, but always start with your under eye just to avoid any creasing. And if you get small lines, do the same. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I had asked a lot of you guys on Twitter, well, a lot of you guys, I had asked on Twitter what face powder I should get. And a lot of people recommended this, so that's what your girl did, okay? And it's it I actually like sitting right here I like I don't care for it that much because I'm like I don't see a difference but when I take pictures and I look in my bathroom mirror like I look super duper smooth so I love it and it's super lightweight I just got the Kat Von D powder too so that's definitely gonna be for my more beat days but for like my everyday just foundation kind of look I'm just going in with this and this just kind of brings everything together. It gives you that nice airbrush look. And yeah, and I'm just using my um, BH Cosmetics brush. It's just a face brush from the Little Marble Collection. So, that's how my face is looking so far. You know, I look a little casket ready, but we gonna bring some life back. Oh my God, the light is changing again, again. Okay, all right. And now we're just gonna be bringing some color back to the skin, you know, some life, some depth. I'm gonna be going in with my Morphe Brontour. With my Morphe Brontour in the shade Showman's. I love this stuff, you guys. Like, this, if you like my shade or something, get this, this over the Fenty because the Fenty is good, but I just feel like the shades, again, is either too red or too, close to my skin tone like you know y'all saw the video when I tried it on it looked good but you know but this one is exactly what you need it's not too red it's not too close to your skin tone and it just it really is a bronze where like it bronzes you and contours you in one bam 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 so this this 
I just have to get another one because I literally dropped it the other day and I ran to Ulta like, no, we're not about to have this kind of negative energy. Uh uh, we need this. All right, and I'm using my Morphe 523 brush and I'm just going to apply that. So I apply it in a straight down motion. I'm holding the brush like this, like straight. You see how the brush is shaped? Let me see if you guys can see that. You see how the brush is shaped? Like that. So I go like this in a contour motion and then I definitely go back and just kind of buff it out to give me that kind of blown out bronzy look. And I work upwards. You never want to drag down when you're doing your contour. You always want to go upwards. And sometimes when I use this, I will go over with my Fenty because it is a little bit more red. So it kind of acts as like a blush contour kind of situation for me. But for the most part, I'm just always going to grab this one. There's like two sides. So they have a matte side and then the shimmery side. I actually go over the shimmery side sometimes when I don't want to highlight because I have been actually toning down on the highlight lately. So, yeah. Also contour my nose with my bronzer. So I'm going to take this angle brush from my BH Cosmetics set. So. That one's a little strong, but it's okay. Like this one, I don't even get mad if I get too carried away because it blends out so nicely that it's not an issue. And I always just take it up to my eyebrows. And this is another reason why I love doing my eyebrows after. After I have done my foundation. And then just to give me a more chiseled look, <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with that Wet n Wild powder and I'm going to snatch the cheeks. And snatch the sides of my nose, cause I like a snatched nose. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and then we will be right back. Alrighty, my brows are done and now I'm gonna dust away this powder that, just a side note, don't leave this on for this long because it starts to do this, okay? But it's okay. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. But yeah, you should never let your powder on the side underneath bake too long because that stuff really be sticking. I don't know why. It just is what it is. So, now that that is done, I'm gonna be taking the same old little baby NARS blush, okay? And I'm gonna put that on because I've just been feeling blush lately. I feel like it just brings life to my skin especially when i don't have like an eye on or anything it just really does it for me and now i'm just going to take my wet and wild highlighter in the shade awesome blossom it is very golden but i like it because i don't apply as much as i used to so i just apply that to the tip of my nose you see it just makes me look so buttony and then i go down a little bit and I never connect, I never, ugh, I never connect it. It's like no, tip of the nose, space, and then like the bridge of your nose. And then I smile. And I go like that. And just one more time, just to pull everything together, I'm gonna go back in with that. Um, micro smooth powder and I'm just gonna buff everything nicely my brush smells so good mm -hmm. and 
And now I'm just going to take my Mario Badescu spray and just kind of break down those powders, make it look more skin-like, and I promise I won't look casket ready anymore. <laughs> Foundation is pretty much complete, like the whole face is complete at this point. Oh, I lied. My Milani Make It Last setting spray. I just want to put y'all on game real quick because nobody told me. These ColourPop glosses are bomb. These are the only two I can get my hands on. They were at Ulta and I've been in love. And I typically don't like plumping with glosses, but this is my jam. So yesterday I wore for the cloud which was really pretty and I don't even like peachy colors but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try QT today which is like this like pearly iridescent shade y'all know I love glossy lips but mm. that's pretty it's coming off like a baby pink so you guys, this pretty much completes my current foundation routine. Super lightweight, but full coverage. Perfect for the summer if you ask me. I hope you guys like it, and I will see you guys in my next video.